Hey, it's me again. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Minecraft. Barely ever do this, but we're back. And yeah, hello. Um, so this may come as a shock to you, but Minecraft, it can be a horse game if you really, really, really try. And I know people have done videos on this before, but so many new things have come out regarding the equestrian community for Minecraft specifically, so I'm gonna show you how. Especially since there's such a lack of horse games that, you know, we don't really get fed much equestrian content. So, I'm going to help you. I promise. So with that being said, I'm going to show you a bunch of cool mods, CIT packs, texture packs, whatever suits your goat, suits your fancy, floats your goat. And you can use it, and you can make Minecraft your equestrian dream. <laughs> I'll also give you a few extra things to spice up your equestrian life in Minecraft that may not- I think it's about to rain. That may not be, um, horse related, but they do help in the long run. So let's get into it. I think there's one mod we're all thinking of and it's kind of a no-brainer and that would be Swem, obviously. If you don't know what Swem is, I really <laughs> recommend looking it up because if you are into horses, then this is the mod that you need. The message through this mod is really great and Swem is short for Starworm Equestrian mod and it adds a plethora of things like balls to the walls insane excuse my french there's a lot of things that don't have use yet because this mod is only in phase one of three but there is still a lot of things you can do there is a multitude of tack in all of the vanilla colors there is so many things stall doors that i personally use there is saddle stands armor stands there is buckets, hay feeders, so many things. There's web guards, grain feeders, my personal favorite, and shavings. Oh my god. Shavings? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and they're functional. Pretty much everything in this mod is functional. The pitchfork, the wheelbarrow, it is insane. There's western tack and barrels and pole bending things. It is... It's a crazy mod, <laughs> and the horses are absolutely insane. They are also functional. They poop and they pee, and get this, unlike a very specific horse game we all know, these horses actually have personalities. They can kick you. I don't think they can bite you. They can kick you. They can refuse jumps. They can stop running if they don't want to go, and you basically have to build a bond with the horse. And to me, that is just unheard of in most horse games at the moment so swim pretty much the only horse mod you might need if you are a minimalist because i can't think of one thing they didn't add besides like genetics and stuff but I, other than that i honestly cannot think of one thing they did not add in this mod If you don't think your computer can handle a mod as hefty as Swem, even though I'm pretty sure it is optimized pretty well for even lower end PCs to run, there's a mod called Realistic Horse Genetics. It is the vanilla horses, 
but it adds like so many different coats to the horses. I absolutely adore it. Because I use swim, I just use these realistic horse genetic coats as just a variation of ponies because there's no ponies or giraffes in swim. I think they're cute. I like them. The coats are insane and I'm pretty sure breeding is functional. <laughs> I'm not sure I haven't played around with it that much. Another cool thing is there's this mod called Horse Tack and it adds blankets and racing tack, jumping tack, dressage tack, halters, bridles, anything you could ever want for a vanilla horse, it is there in case you're unable to have swim or something. Also, if you don't want to play on 1.16 or up because swim is only on 1.16.5 and up, Realistic horse genetics and the horse tech mod, I think you can play them on 1.12.2 because I was even iffy about moving to 1.16 for swim, but I'm glad I did. But if you don't want to, realistic horse genetics and the horse tech mod, you can play those on older versions and that's what I used to do, so it does work. Another mod that is great with swim or realistic horse genetics, especially realistic horse genetics because Swim does add jumps, so if you have Swim, you have jumps. That's why I'm saying Swim is such a good overall mod if you are minimalist and can only have a few mods on your computer. A great mod to use if you don't have Swim is the Equestrian mod on Curse Forge. It adds literally everything that you could need for jumps. It adds poles, um, little, I don't know, what are they called? Cavaletti thingies? Caddy things? Yeah poles and you can you can make diagonal jumps which is insane basically any jump you want you could make it with this mod and i like it i use it um i don't really use the swim jumps just because i think it's kind of confusing for my dumb brain so this mod really does make it a lot more easier on me <laughs> just because i'm stupid it's nothing against the swim devs obviously I just also like the the freedom of the diagonal jumps and I can just do whatever I want, you know? So that is also a good mod. I really do like it a lot. Another mod if you want jumps is called Simply Cross Country. I think it's on Planet Minecraft. Everything will be linked below, by the way. It adds only a few, which is good enough for me, a few um cross country jumps actually it adds i think a ditch fence and oxer corner jumps which is really nice the person who made this does have a few other mods that are horse related i don't have them just because they were just jumps and stuff and i really only wanted the cross country one but they really do make all the difference i really like them i think they're pretty well made and they look really cute once you set them up so yeah. Now there's a CIT pack I really, really want to talk about because it is just absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure the creator of it is still working on updates for it, but don't take my word for it. Um, I am in the swim discord and I see them post about them making their CIT pack all the time. And it is just, it is amazing. It adds so many things. If I could, I would do an entire an entire showcase on it. But you name it, they've pretty much added it. They've added blanket racks, um, feed bags, hay nuts, horse toys, pretty much everything. Even like hoses and stuff. Just stuff that would be in a barn. They've pretty much added it. Tag boxes, feed bins. It is there if you want it. The jumps. I, it doesn't matter what kind of barn I'm building, I always use the jumps. They are, they're perfect to me. I really hope if they're still updating it, they add more jumps because, man, I wish I had this talent. I mean, they're so pretty. I love the lavender jump and the butterfly jumps. They are just so cute. They are so freaking cute. I think that's all the mods I have. If you have any more that could spice up Minecraft and make it a horse game, do let me know, okay? Put them in the comments. I'm sure a lot of people would be very into that.
I would like to do my, more Minecraft videos in the future, so if you would like a video on how to make equestrian builds, like equestrian builds to spice up your barn and stuff, or just a barn tour, or maybe even like a swim RP, just let me know. This was kind of fun. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! It's about time you and I Forget about everything Love is bound, it isn't blind